We will discuss a problem from BSTAT 2007, uh, to th subjective problem. This is the first problem in this uh, problem set. It actually talks about how complex numbers and roots of unity work. It says that suppose A is any complex number such that this particular equation holds a squared plus a plus 1 over a plus 1 over a squared plus 1 equals 0. We have to find out the value of this quantity a raised to 2 to the power 2m plus a raised to m etc. Now the first and obvious question is this particular equation let's call it equation 1 Now, equation 1 is given to us. Typically, when an equation is given to us, we should be able to talk about the solutions of this equation. Now, clearly, this is a fourth degree polynomial. I mean, if you, if, if you multiply, let me write it here, multiply by a square. If I do that, if I multiply by a square on both sides, we get a Quadrat uh, by quadratic equation, a fourth degree polynomial, and we know that uh, formulas for fourth degree polynomials, though they theoretically exist, they're not very easy and uh, really no, no, no one remembers them. So there must be another way of uh, doing this pro uh, problem or solving this problem or understanding what A really is. So let's uh, see how we can do this. Mm, let's make some space. We have, we are given with the equation plus 1 is equal to 0. This is what's available to us. Uh, let's mu multiply, let's multiply by a square on both sides. Clearly, a is not 0, so otherwise this particular equation wouldn't have made sense. So if we multiply by a square, what we get is a raised to 4 plus a cubed plus a plus 1 plus a square equals to 0, which is a raised to 4 plus a cubed plus a square plus a plus 1 is 0. Now see this is not a um, not any biquadratic it's a very special biquadratic and if you have solved sufficiently large quantity of uh, complex number problems then you, have, you must have seen this expression before and this is where it comes up. If you look into the factorization of a to the power 5 minus 1 there you get this expression so this is actually a very standard factorization you should know this it's a factorization for a to the power n minus 1 if you have not seen this factorization before I suggest you go back to one of our previous videos uh, mentioned in our link in the description. Now let's go back to this by quadratic that we found. We have a raised to 4 plus a cubed plus a square plus a plus 1 is 0. Now multiply both sides by a minus 1. Multiply both sides by a minus 1. If we do that, what we get is a minus 1 times a raised to 4 plus a cubed plus a square plus a plus 1 equal to 0, which we know is a to the power 5 minus 1. So a to the power 5 minus 1 is equal to 0. So immediately we know what's happening here right uh, these this a has to be a complex 
fifth root of unity. And the complex fifth root of unity are obviously a equals to one. One of them is one. That's this a minus one factor is telling you that. And the rest, the remaining four of them are all complex numbers. And if you draw them on the board, if you draw them in the complex plane, one of them is one comma zero. Of course, that's one. The other one is 1 comma 72 degree. I'm approximately drawing it. 1 comma 144 degree. 1 comma 216 degree. And 1 comma 288 degree. So if you do not know how this is happening, then I'll suggest you to go back and review how complex roots of unity work. So this is a regular pentagon, so an approximate picture of course. Now the interesting thing about the complex fifth roots of unity apart from this real one, all other four of them, Let's name them. Let's call them omega, omega square, omega cubed, omega raised to 4, and this one is omega raised to 5. So apart from omega raised to 5, which is 1, all others, that is omega, omega square, omega cubed, and omega raised to 4, all these four roots are not only complex fifth roots of unity but they are primitive roots of unity. Now what does this mean? What does being primitive roots of unity mean? So we have discussed this in a separate video. What it actually means is it generates, each of them generates all the four, each of them generates all the four fifth roots of unity. So for example, let's look at omega square. If you square omega square, that is omega square whole square, you get omega raised to four. If you cube it, omega square whole cube, you get omega raised to six, which is omega. If you take it to the fourth power, you get omega raised to 8, which is omega cubed. You have to keep in mind that omega raised to 5 is 1. So in each step, I can take away omega raised to 5, or rather replace it by 1. So you see, the powers of omega square, that is omega square whole square, omega square whole cube, omega square whole cube to the power 4, they are these four roots, the original four roots of unity uh, in some order. This is, the, this is the idea of primitive roots of unity in a nutshell. We have a separate video discussion on this. Or you might have encountered this discussion in our class. The interesting thing about fifth roots of unity are that each of these each of these four roots are primitive fifth roots of unity. That means each of them generate, uh, the powers of them generate all the five fifth roots of unity in some order. Why are all of these, um, why are all of these primitive fifth roots of unity? Because five is a prime number, is a prime number and in our discussion in on primitive fifth roots of unity, we can show that any power of a complex root which is co-prime to the uh, n, to n, if we are talking about nth roots of unity, if the power is co-prime to n, then that would be a primitive 
uh, root and in this case all of these numbers all of these powers 1 2 uh, 3 4 all of them are obviously co prime to 5 5 being a prime so obviously this deserves a separate discussion and we have done the separate discussion many a times in class and also in some articles in our website so you should refer to that now coming back to the problem now we want to find out we want to find out a to the power 2m plus a to the power m plus 1 over a to the power m plus 1 over a to the power 2m that was the expression we are we were after so if you look into this problem this was the expression that we wanted to find out and now we know by our, by our investigation that a is one of the four complex roots of unity of complex complex fifth roots of unity complex fifth roots of unity and uh, it's obviously not one if you plug in a equal to one that will not work but other all other four of them will work so and all of them are primitive roots as well so we are in a very good shape in investigating this particular expression so let's do that what we do is we will write a to the power m as some omega prime now realize that if if a is a root of unity and since it's a primitive root a to the power m is also a complex primitive root so we can call it for the sake of, sake of brevity we can call it omega dashed so what we are interested in now is omega dashed square plus omega plus 1 over omega plus 1 over omega square uh, what do we know okay all of the, these are primes sorry so what do we know we know that omega prime raised to 4 plus omega prime raised to 3 plus omega prime square plus omega prime plus 1 is 0 because if you plug in a complex fifth root of unity in this in this particular expression it will not make a minus 1 0 if you if you replace a by omega prime obviously omega prime is not 1 so it will not make this a minus 1 0 it will make the remaining portion 0 because it is a root of this particular product so it will obviously make the product 0 if it doesn't make a minus 1 0 then of course it will make this remaining portion 0 so coming back to this expression so this is 0 now let's uh, divide all along by omega prime square and that we can do because it's not a 0 it's a complex number so we can do it so if we do that we get omega prime square plus omega prime plus 1 plus 1 over omega prime plus 1 over omega prime square equals 0 which means omega prime square plus omega prime plus 1 over omega prime plus 1 over omega prime square is negative 1 so we can replace omega prime by a to the power m so a to the power 2m 
plus a to the power m plus 1 over a to the power m plus 1 over a to the power 2m equals negative 1. Hence, our answer is negative 1, of course. And uh, we have successfully solved this problem. What you have to remember, the takeaway, is this. You, you must understand how complex roots of unity work. You might want to know some of some something about its geometry as well. You know, you want to know, you need to know what are primitive roots. And uh, you need to know why, why the primitive, the primitive roots have a connection with co-prime values. So this will act, this, these are actually basics of uh, the theory of complex numbers in general. Uh, so you should review these ideas as well and this problem is a very nice application of this entire concept. Thank you.